Welcome back, everybody, to Bucket Tutorials by me, oh, Avery from Frostbite Studios. And today we're going to be going over player messages, broadcasting, and commands. Right now, I'm on my Hot Potato plugin page. Please check it out. Link is in the description. Now, also, for it, the player yeah for the player there's gonna be lots of things you can do with them so I'm gonna post this in the description which shows some of the very vast amount of things you can do with the player for example play effect play sound and then it tells you like what you do for parameters and then what the play sound method does and stuff like that so this is very helpful also, and the link will be in the description. So right now, let's go back to coding. So right now, we're going to have to create a new method that whenever you do a command, let's say, that that's what's going to come up. And yeah, so right now we're going to do, for our us Windows users, control space, then on command. For you... Mac viewers or Linux viewers, you have to do. Uh, let me find. Let me find it. Don't show me. Don't show me. All right, I found what you Mac and Linux users can use. Um, go to edit, and then go to content assist, and it will have what it is right there, and use that button to get this. All right, now that we have this class open, not this class open, ugh, this method open, let's change some things around. Delete that comment and delete this return, because we're going to want to return false. I'll explain so at the end of the video. Let's do return false. And right here, I'm just going to format it a little differently. Instead of string command label as a parameter, we're going to do string command... Oh, instead of label, we're going to have string command label. And yeah. So right now we're going to have to make the commands. So we're going to do if, then in the parentheses, we're going to do command label dot equals ignore case, then YouTube. But above this, we have to call the player first. So we're going to do player player equals casted player sender. Casting is the player inside the parentheses. Parentheses. Can't, can't pronounce that. Okay, so now inside the, what you could say the command, we're going to create another thing. And so we're going to do... If args.length equals zero, so if there are no arguments, then player dot send message chat color dot dark red you have entered too little. So what this mostly does is that if the arguments are equal to zero, then the player will s get sent a message in chat color red, dark red, saying you have en you have entered too little. And you have to do this plus right here because you have to add dark red to it. Kind of like that. <laughs> so now, after your closing ending bracket thingamajiggy, curly bracket, um, <clears throat> We're going to do else if args dot dot. No, we're just going to do else. Then I don't think I explained this really fully. But to make this open workspace, you, um. No, open workspace. Open, like, space. You do an open curly bracket and you enter. See, it's, it's as easy as that. And then it makes a space and then closes the, um the text area I guess 
So right here, um, we're going to say else, then we're going to do if args, then in the array thingamajiggy, we're going to put zero. So if the argument's zero, dot equals ignore case, and we'll do tab message. And then you open the curly brackets, press enter, then it closes it, it makes a space. So if you do YouTube, so what's mostly doing is that if you do YouTube message, then this will happen with whatever inside of here. So when it says this, we'll just do player dot send message, and let's do check color dot aqua. Oop. Aqua. Then plus you have sent a message. So right now let's add some more things. Let's do else if arg zero dot equals in our case broadcast. There are two ways to broadcast to every player on the server. You could have a for loop, either a newer for loop or older for loop, or you could actually use the broadcast that they give you inside of Bucket. That's what we're going to be using today. So what this means we'll have to get Bucket, I think. Let's check. Um, bucket dot. Oh, no, you don't have to get bucket. So do bucket dot broadcast message. Then inside of here we'll do you have broadcasted a message. So, yeah, that's mostly it. So let's, let me explain. So right here, if the uh, command is equal to YouTube, and if the links is are equal to zero, then the player will get sent a message in chat color dark red, you have entered too little. But if the arguments is not equal to zero, and if the arg the first argument is equal to message, then the player will be sent a message in chat color aqua, so you have sent a message. But if the argument's zero, first argument is not is equal to broadcast, then you will broadcast a message. You have broadcast a message. So, right. So a lot of people have been really mixed up with what this boolean thing does. Some people think it's what um, you need for the command and some people just don't know. My theory is that when a command is called, this boolean goes to true, and whenever a boolean goes to true, everything inside of it, um, at least for method, everything inside of the boolean uh, has to be looked through. So all of this is looked through, and if a command is called, then it will be executed, then it will return false, so it does not keep looking through. Yeah, that's mostly my theory. Yeah. So right now, um, let's just send some simple console messages by doing this dot send console. Then let's just send enabled. Let's do another one on disabled. Just says this dot send console disabled. Just to uh, just have something there. So right now we're gonna have to make a new thing called a plugin dot yml. What this does is that um, it has all the information needed to create the plugin, kind of. <laughs> so right here, let's right click on our package and do new file, and let's do plugin dot yml. Click enter. So right here in the plugin.yml, we're gonna have to put at least four things: name, then uh, colons. That's not semicolons. Maybe it's just colon. Then we're gonna have to do package. No, main, main, then version, then des 
description, then commands. We'll try that first. So right here for name, we're going to put YouTube project. For the main, the main is mostly just go to your main class, copy the package on top, paste it there, then do another dot and just uh, type out your main package. That's what your plugin looks for first when it's starting up. The version we're just going to do 1.00. The description we're going to just write swag because you know we've got swag. So under commands, this is essential if you want to have commands. Let's copy the command YouTube. And under commands, let's do space space, paste our command, and then put the colons on right next to it. Now let's do another space, enter, ugh, do space space again, write description, and let's write the description for this sends stuff. So right now, um, we mostly have created the plugin.yml and our plugin. So let's right click on our project, do export, then click next once you've clicked on Java and jar file as the selected export type. Click next, then pick where you want to load it to, I guess. Click where you want to export the file to then finish. Now that we've exported our file, we have to open up our ser test server. If you don't have a test server, um, I guess I'll just put up a video on how to make one. And then let's do hot potato. And let's drag into our plugin.yml and replace file and destination. Let's run the server. So now that our server is running, let's go open up Minecraft. Okay, now that I'm back, um, as you can see, I'm not using Fraps right now because I'm too lazy to open it. So let's just click on multiplayer, then enter, enter local host, or whatever IP you have the uh, server on. Yeah. Let's reload the server. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot this is my test server. Um, let's do slash pl, and right there it'll say YouTube project. Now let's just do help YouTube underscore project, oop, project, or maybe no s underscore, yeah, no underscore. So if you see there, it'll say YouTube, then send stuff. So right now let's do YouTube. And as you see, it will say you've entered too little, like we wrote down in the plugin. So now, what we have to do is do YouTube message slash YouTube message, and it sends us a message saying you have sent a message. Now let's do the other YouTube broadcast, which broadcasts as a message. So YouTube broadcast. And it broadcasted a message. So yeah, that's how you make a simple bucket plugin. Um, congratulations, you created it all on your own. And hopefully you didn't cheat and just look at the source. Thanks for <laughs> watching. I'm Avery, um, and have a Nice day. <laughs> uh...